Social media acknowledgement recognition <clears throat> everyone is clamoring for recognition and acknowledgement but when you have acknowledgement and recognition you be sure there's going to be criticism and judgment Please go hand in hand. Especially with social media nowadays. Our lives become open. life is always open to criticisms and judgment. You don't want to be criticized, you don't want to be judged, keep silent. You cannot judge and criticize something that is silent. Experimenting with new cable on my uh, camera. I hope it doesn't stop anymore. Traffic Sunday. The more stuff you post on social media, the more chances you are going to be criticized.
фунт вот.
slowed down. And he saw me coming. He overtook me. You can judge if the uh, speed is uh, okay. So probably that's why he'll say, well I honked. What he just did is called cutting. So he's going to call it serving.
looks like it's going down. We're sloping down. But, uh, and a half kilometers, 13.5 kilometers, 25.5 kilometers per hour. Ah, oh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, we can always double check. This is uh, project five, the projects of the uh, Let's uh, check this out. What's in the project? Find an old area. <coughs> oh, look at the dogs! They're messing up the road. Yep. Uh, 
fifties, nineteen sixties. There were houses here. And, uh, what we're looking for are something older. that two hat. Check out all those two hat boots on the floor. the flower looks like. that they pronounce it really Olya. Olya. But of course, we pronounce it the American way, Orleans. Olya. <coughs> you know that place 
famous uh, person from uh, Orleans. The, the famous person from Orleans. Check this house out. American style. that this place developed after the war. <laughs> Shanghai Shoma. Whatever that means, D-A-A-G-A, what the heck is D-A-A-G-A? And then you got Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. Now if you don't believe what I just said about the name, there it is, D-A-A-G-A, D-A-A-G-A. <coughs> Sergeant, Sergeant Catolo, Catolos, Sergeant Catolos, who is Sergeant Catolos? Looking at? Huh? See that? See that? The Alpha! The Alpha Beagle! Oh my god! Sky! It's just rolling on the road. Let's uh, pass it one more time. So, pinakakawalan lang. Hindi na mahuli. Yeah. Oh, well. The wild pig is inside the house. Like to be outside, right? 
Of the one. Nice digger. Get run over. Oh god. Look at that, eucalyptus tree. They call it bagrass. Of course you cannot see it. Only I can. Why do I why does this look place look so familiar? <laughs> why does this look so familiar? Hey look at that. Okay, good see. There's a uh, police group at that place. And there was a Pireka is a hand. There you go. Lovers and vapor. Morning. Lovers fan bakery. Woohoo! Where am I? Ah yeah. Well. Anyway, since I'm here. Uh, let us check out uh, one of the oldest bakery in this place. And uh, we went there before. We'll just check it out. Maybe uh, take some uh, photos. area <coughs> where the heck is that thing <coughs> uh, I think I see it is it yeah this is uh, allegedly the oldest uh, bakery here unfortunately it's not selling the oldest uh, I just wanted to uh, include this in my vlog. This is the Kaboning and it smells so great. Oh. And I had to uh, just had a brief stop at the uh, Kamuning Bakery Cafe. Supposed to be the uh, oldest bakery here. And it's supposed to be the uh, oldest bakery in Quezon City. But you have to remember, at that particular period, 1939, uh, well, it, Quezon City was just beginning. So this portion could have been probably carved out from San Juan so uh, San Juan's loss is Kansas City's gain Really is a type of uh, um, weed fig. It practically grows anywhere, but uh, you are not supposed to eat it in large quantities. <laughs> You'll get nauseous. Uh,
you've actually uh, into that of the safe one. How about we just now? Oh. Alright. Before we uh, go to our destination, let's uh so we went that way before, we'll go this way now. <coughs> Let it be. <clears throat> We're actually in New Manila. Yeah. Beautiful place. <clears throat> the first fort park after the war. Or just uh, uh, you say it after the war, but there were previous Fort Spark. <laughs> Everybody, everything is now gauge after Fort Spark because uh, <coughs> Fort Spark sort of became the uh, the gauge for uh, 
Elite. Elite Lifestyle. But, uh, previous to Forbes Park, there was uh, obviously the uh, San Miguel district of uh, Manila. And then you got the Garda. <coughs> Where most of the elites used to live. <coughs> and uh, many of them moved out. to uh, let you sh see this I'm not I, I'm pretty sure this is not an old house but uh, they made it from old material that made it look like an old house so most likely it's a fashion house it says uh, Bahay Centenario I don't know what else. this house existed here over a hundred years ago but uh, Balete Drive who knows? Bahay Centenario. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure uh, in the provinces, in the provinces, you're usually gauged by how far you are you leave from the church and the church the plaza the seat of government that's called the poblacion when you're at the center of the poblacion the closer you are to the center the richer you are that's how people were judged before. So whenever there's a town fiesta and people go to the Poblacion and celebrate, you'd see uh, you'd see the iconic houses of their old rich. Family compound reinvented. I, I hear singing. Is that a church? Yeah, let's check it out. The water reservoir. Check those trees out. Centuries old. Wow. So if you live within those uh, condominiums and you're facing that way, you'll see all the uh, You'll see the water reservoir. <coughs> this is called Magnolia Residences. This used to be the Magnolia Factory. And uh, the, Magnolia, the Magnolia House transferred from our lake. Hi. Transferred from our lake to here by the 19th. Early 70s. This 
place is called Horseshoe Drive. And you'll know why it's Horseshoe within a few minutes. And uh, let's check out how many uh, residents here are pro. Uh, check that bag for you. Maybe. See if it's uh, difficult to find. Interesting. Be an annex of uh, an old house. But uh, the main house is gone. I'm not sure which of these houses we uh, went to during uh, a party we had with uh, one of our classmates in college, Hilario, whose father works with uh, AGMP. Which house is there? I'm pretty sure that could be that one. It could be that one. It's one of the best places to live in. <laughs> I frequently went to this place before. house used to belong to Leopoldo Salcedo. 